All right, so today we're going to go over the fastest way you can install a Roblox cursor. As you can see, I have one on right now, but I'll show you how to change it and what options you have to choose from. So let's get started. All right, so there's going to be a link in the description with this Google Drive. And basically, it's just got all these cursors that I use. So I made a bunch of these for this video, but you're going to go ahead and look at this directory and you're going to choose whatever one you want. So for me, I want to use my classic, which is going to be this teal one. So I'm going to find it here is right here i'm gonna right click it and i'm just gonna download it and it's gonna zip the file i'm gonna go ahead and wait for it to open and then i'll show you what to do from there all right so I zip the file and it already popped up we're just gonna go in here and open cursor teal and then you'll see that you have all these file names so here's the cursor but what we're gonna do is we're gonna search up roblox in the search bar we're gonna right click open the file location and then we'll open another file location and then you'll go to content here and then inside textures, you're going to find the cursors folder. So you go ahead and open this and then you're going to want to go to keyboard and mouse. And once you're in here, you're just going to drag all these over and replace the file names, whatever. Now you'll see that this mouse lock cursor is in here still. This is your shift lock and to replace your shift lock, you're going to take this and then drag it up to here and move it to textures and then replace it. And then that's it. You're going to go ahead and go back to murder mystery and or whatever game you're playing and just relaunch it. So we just loaded MM2 and as you can see, the cursor's already changed. So that's how you would install it straight from the Google Drive link. Super easy, like I said, but if you want a different type of version of this, I'll show you how I can do a mini version really quickly. And this is like a bonus feature that I added for you guys that were interested in all my crosshairs cursors so I'll show you one last thing on how I would do that really fast so in the drive link I added this mini cursors folder and basically they're all the same colors but you can just pick whatever you want so I'm gonna take this like bright pink one and I'm gonna wait for it to pop up all right so it just popped up so I'm gonna do the whole process again really quickly so I'm gonna open the file location I'm going to navigate here. I'm going to take this and go in here, drag this, replace them, put this in the textures and that's it. That's how fast you can do it. Anyways, you're going to have to redo it every time the game updates, but once you get the hang of it, it's going to be really simple to do. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy all the cursors in the pack. And if you do have any problems, let me know in the comments and I'll try to help as many people as I can.